What's up guys? My name's Gamer360 Sports. Today I'm giving you guys a little bit of a channel update because right now it is really necessary. I haven't posted a video in about two to three weeks again for the second time in I'd say one month. And so right now, you guys are probably wondering, where have the videos been? I haven't gotten any comments and a couple of subs here and there, but that's about it. I don't want this channel to start falling apart, so let me explain what's going on. First things first, the gameplay you're seeing is from Coaching Carousel. I wasn't using it though for an actual series because I had the commentary on, it was just for fun. The reason I was recording it was because of a highlight package for Jonas Brock, the quarterback now for the Kentucky Wildcats, which was part of the 2014 recording class where Patrick Tools tore his rotator cuff, leaving Jonas Brock the starter of where currently with one of the top teams in the nation, number four in the country, 66 points per game, number one passing with 700 passing yards per game, yada yada yada, you guys don't really care. But anyway, first things first, I mentioned this in the last channel update, which at the time, when I first looked, it was only 34 views, so it didn't mean anything to most people. Basically, I'm part of a track and field team, or was. But anyway, the past couple weeks, I had track meets that lasted two days, where I wasn't home at all. The first time was the Officer Regionals, which is for Ontario's Western Regionals, so basically... It was anywhere from where I live all the way up to Kitchener, Waterloo. But anyway, during this, I was competing in the 100 meters. But as you guys know, I has I have Asperger's. Yes, I haven't talked about this in a video that much. I mentioned it in the comments section, and most people probably didn't notice because it was after most people watched the video. But I do have Asperger's, which is the reason why, for the most part, I'm not the best at pronouncing names and that kind of stuff. If you don't know what it is, it's kind of like a disability in social skills. It's, a, it's an off-the-spectrum kind of autism. So basically, call me a retard if you want. I am not one. If I'm lucky to even do these videos or even have a chance at sports broadcasting, which I have... I'm lucky to even get as far as I am with this Asperger's. But anyway, I was running in the intellectual disability class because there was no way I could compete in normal class because of A, my skill set, and B, because of my disability. During that, I finished fools in the office of regionals, which meant another week not being able to make videos because I had track practice every day until 5 o'clock at the university. Yeah, the university. I'm just trying to think right now. I actually was talking with the Paralympics coach so I have a chance to compete in the intellectual disability for or the CIS, which is possible, meaning I could run some university track in the future, run with some track clubs, that kind of stuff. And I ended up finishing 8th in total in all of Ontario for that class with a 14, not, not 14, 13.95, the fastest time I've ever ran in 100 meters. But that's basically what I just wanted to tell you guys, is because I didn't want you guys believing that, hey, you're just making up this all up that you're in track and field. Most people didn't congratulate me on Twitter and that kind of stuff, but man... I'm just happy to get it done. I'm happy to get as far as I am. And basically, I have a future in track and field on top of sports broadcasting. And I already have some things hooked up with the TV coach call I mentioned up a few videos back all the way in November. That most people didn't care about. But anyway, up to onto the real stuff. You guys said I should upgrade my audio equipment, which I am finally going to upgrade the audio equipment. I had a Shire, I think, M62 on... I think, yeah, M62 on my desk for the past couple of months that my teacher gave me. It's from either the 1960s, 70s, or 80s. That's how old this thing is. And it looks vintage because if you guys have seen a picture of it on Twitter, it basically is very old. I was thinking of refurbishing it, but it works perfectly. And so I'm getting a microphone, the Audio-Technica AT2020 condenser mic. It's a cataroid, which means it's a, not the USB mics. It's one that you, you connect into this audio mixer, and then it goes into your audio port for the mic, and it's going to be a higher quality. Just let's just say that. It comes with a pop filter, and I'm getting a mic stand with that, that kind of stuff, and a cable. Cost me about 145 bucks in U.S. on Amazon. So hopefully it'll come in, I'd say, next week. Then I can start making videos and hopefully post them when, when I'm starting up my exams and that kind of stuff, which is coming up next week. But anyway, on to the video stuff. 
some series might have to be cut because NCAA football 14 is around the corner and I want to go full out on NCAA 14 because let me tell you we have NCAA Ultimate Team which if you guys have checked Operation Sports most people are not excited about and on top of that there's coaching care itself for next season there's possibly Road to Glory if they fix the glitches and tell us a single thing about the stinky mode and possibly maybe some more storyline series that kind of stuff I've been brainstorming like crazy for this for the coaching carousel you know in fact I have some papers that I wrote on my iPad about three pages long with a bunch of coaching storylines where I have to get team builder teams and use them on NCAA 13 had to make some high school teams completely from scratch everything for next year's coaching carousel which is going to be coming up in a month it won't be coming out the first week of NCAA 13 14 though because it's going to take a while to put together all the storylines, make sure all the coaches fit in, just make sure everything works. Basically, it's going to be coming out around, I'd say, the Tuesday after the release, because I just don't want to rush a project or rush the product that I have for this game for Coaching Carousel. This year's Coaching Carousel was rushed. Last year's before that was all for fun, you know, just trying to get used to Coaching Carousel. And people will seem to like that coaching carousel from NCAA Football 12. But anyway, Astros franchise will be staying. Twins franchise will be staying. Road to the show, not so much. I haven't got a chance to even play it in, I'd say, two months. And I just never got a connection to the mode. I never got interested enough to stay committed to Road to, Road to the show. So I'm most likely going to cancel that series if I don't start playing the game pretty soon. Basically, it's going to be a more short update because I don't want to go ranting on and on. I don't have any more, any other series except for the College Hoops, which I might have to re-record that entire episode or something. I haven't done anything with that episode since I recorded the last audio months ago. And that was all the way back in May when I did the last recordings for the series. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Restart the episodes editing rewrite the, the script. I don't know what I can't have two different mic audio qualities Once I get this this audio technica mic to hook up on my desk to this audio mixer But anyway, basically that's all I want to say for the most part. It's gonna be a, like I said short little update Hopefully you guys watched and yeah, we're about to try and get in the end zone on fourth and goal. Justin Taylor, pitch off to the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcats, for the first touchdown of the game. Tying it up at seven. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys will actually watch this video and actually listen to it. I might talk about some of this stuff another time. So if you see a random video about that kind of stuff over, let's say, Modern Warfare 4 or Call of Duty Ghost or something, Maybe it'll be that. But anyway, thanks for watching, and see you guys next time, and have a great day.